Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat the game on legendary Iron Man difficulty with less class options, less equipment options, niche builds, less hit points and of course a better advent and a better chosen for more heavy endgame enemies. It is time for an endgame mission in New India Ancient Gods is upon us and we're fighting our first sector pot prime I think in this uh, entire playthrough where we're trying to get a couple of um, a couple of crates. Oh no, Advent Train might mean we're actually going to need to kill all of the enemies. Anyways, it's time for a Gatekeeper Prime, at least one, maybe two, and we have a lot of chrysalids there. It's rated as a very difficult mission, and I can attest to it, because the Gatekeeper Primes are very difficult enemies. We got an EMP bomb here, which is a great start uh, to take out a prime but we do not have a flashbang let me fix that good fix that so EMP goes on to toxic for the bigger boom effect it'll uh, just hit harder and hopefully also stun it has a bigger explosion radius on top of uh, that we do have uh, a flashbang here on tapper so both of these devices are anti gatekeeper I got some extra shredding with us for uh, with Jurangs. Then we got uh, um, Elliot here, who happens to be the bond mate of Jurangs and hasn't seen much uh, action in the entire playthrough. So I thought, you know what, let's bring him along and give him maybe a chance to shine. And we, in order to keep him safe, we gave him some extra hit points and uh, um, dense smoke because the gatekeeper can retaliate on every single hit and the eye cannon unless uh, they nerfed it of the normal gatekeeper is pretty damn hard so the idea is really to make sure it just can't hit us good we have just landed neutralize all enemies okay cool well this is going to be quite a roller coaster we got two snipers so we want to play that one very safe moving up there is a bit of a tower let's continue moving up okay fair enough Getting into a cover position. Like I said, we're playing it safe for now. On the move. Optical sensors on cover Next turn, we're going to eliminate the tower. Thanks to our two snipers, that should not be the biggest problem. And I'm eventually uh, trying to push for high ground. Since we're not limited with our timer. This whole thing here might be easier than expected. So, time for that super heavy tower to hopefully go down. Hit the armor. All right, two hits. Seems legit. We're continuing to Overwatch. And I bet you there's a second tower on that first uh, train. Because that's typically what happens. Alright. One kill. Let's continue. Drangs is scouting. Oh shit. Oh boy. Come on. Fight for your life, like literally. Ooh, we're fighting against chrysalids only. 
Holy. Come on, buddy. You can do that. Got a couple of things, obviously. Drinks takes an aid protocol. And whilst we're still having the ability, let's let's try to to get this guy. Okay, getting some more firepower here. Because those would be more chrysalids, but can't be much worse than it already is. Crystal Hunter takes some damage, that is fantastic. We're now triggering that other pack. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. Next up, teamwork. Uh, we want Jaranks out of there. As good as, po uh, as humanly possible. And we gotta be careful. Boy, oh boy. Speaking about just unfortunate situations. Alright, they can't hit us with anything but a melee attack, so let's move over here. They should have still tactical analysis going. This here is as far away as possible to still see both of them. Well, C1, which is okay for now. Might as well use Bombard. I think that's the better choice. Let's just nuke all of them. Nuke them from orbit. That's the only way to be sure. For those of you who don't get that reference, that was from Alien 2, I think. Three up there, some further down. Okay. Okay, I'll go. Well, it's one of those situations where there are no great options, there are only bad options, variations of bad options. And one of the things that we certainly want to do is kill as many of them as possible. Overwatch. Good. So, <laughs> even more chrysalids. An entire chrysalid mission. I should have known. And more chrysalids, because why not? All right. that would hurt. Massive acid burn. Moving to designated coordinates. Roger that. Good, moving up. And we don't have a lot of healing on, with us, so Jaranx, you've got to be careful from now on, buddy. 
By the way, he just got that due to the poisonous blood of one of the chrysalids. Which is quite a heresy if you think about it. Like, you're hitting them and these guys still deal damage. Time to kill the chrysalid hunter. It's burning, which means it will die next turn. Super heavy turret uh, might be the one counter to the chrysalids because they can't poison it with their stupid poison. And they really can't do much about it overall. Moving to a position where there would be Blade Storm, but where everybody else would stand behind us. I wasn't expecting to camp that entrance here, but apparently that is what's going to happen. Chrysalids are nicely burning, perfect. And this tower acts as our mimic, living mimic beacon. Holy shit. <laughs> that is nasty. A bombard would hit all of them. That's just so good. Okay, so a couple of things, right? Chrysalid Hunter. Let's hit it. Okay. It's hit well. Another hit. No, that was a miss. The horde is just moving in. Let's try to hit that hunter. Reload. We do have cereal, which is potentially now the right time to actually use that. That's right. Okay. Moving on. Overdrive. Yes, please. Bombard. Yes, please. Got to be careful here. Still standing. Chrysalid Hunter dies. Potentially can't kill this guy. Not yet. But what we could do is... Wait a second. We could hit him really hard with Common Protocol. Okay, cool. So, a couple of things. Again, Secundus... Is front line. Hunter Killer takes some more damage. Boy, oh boy, I didn't know how fun it was to fight against actual, um, actual meaningful chrysalid threats. Kind of reminds me about that new Fundland mission. We're going to reload and we're going to have a kill zone going.
Toxic, Overwatches as well. Drank's Overwatches and Secundus comes a tiny bit back, just so much so that they feel confident uh, in running into us. And now it's a matter of Overwatches. Not good. <sighs> Should have known better. Enemy is still up. That's so bad. Yeah, I didn't get it. Like, not a single Overwatch uh, shot. Okay, well, one. Okay. Only the best. Kind of the redemption arc here. But Saiken, one of the shots mi uh, was hitting. Yeah, great job. Good. Our Corporal Sniper takes an extra kill. And earned his promotion. Moving on target location. Proceeding to target. So what we want to do now is we want uh, to I keep it okay. super calm and super quiet. We need to regain okay. our um, cooldowns and we at the same time need to make sure that Coming. nothing Coming else now. is happening. Hold on. Hold on. We killed a pack of three, a pack of three, a pack of two, and a pack of two, so that's six, eight, ten. I think the gatekeeper might be the only thing that's left. But you never engaged. should be too sure about those things. Oh yeah, and plus two towers. I don't know if they counted against the enemies. But yeah, it was a uh, pretty impactful first round. Good. Very good. Moving up. Scouting for us. Nothing. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. Because now we can move up. And eventually, very slowly, make our way to that high ground there. That sweet, sweet high ground that we were looking for. Good. Let's use scanning protocol. Never forget to use that if you have it available and you're kind of in a transition uh, state. Nothing. 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 Okay. Nothing is good. Nothing is good. Nothing is very good. Good. Fantastic. I'm on the move. That's exactly what I wanted. High ground up here. Go, go, go. Sniper positions. Drangs reconceals and oh, is going to take point Moving from now on. Pepper Moving. moves up. And Toxic can Rolling take out. his position over there. For now we're fine, no need to aggressively push forward, we're okay, we're good. Good copy, moving on target. Interestingly enough, nothing. Affirmative. If you say so. 
So as a natural consequence, go, go, go. moving up and taking a better position, potentially using a battle scanner. Okay, cool. Scanning. Scanning. Scanning for targets. Affirmative. Covering now. I think I heard something. Scanning for position. Well, so far so good. We were to launch that big fat EMP grenade. It would not really work yet. Position. I gotta be careful, I don't want to trigger yet. Position confirmed. Positioning into an alternative uh, uh, hard cover, just in case we need to move. Eyes on the prize. Can't get uh, throw that in there. This should now. potentially not trigger yet. Fantastic, but it gives us a pretty clear view. Doesn't hit yet. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Would that EMP bomb stun it? Unclear. It may. Let's take a look. It will bypass all of the armor, that's for sure. That was super valuable. Moving up. Overdriving. And now it's time to spread that monstrosity. Yes, sir. Come on, shred it further. Well, that happens. Can't really hit it. But we do have 100 almost 100% crit chance against this guy. He's down to 1 HP. Alright, let's kill this guy. Hundred percent and could we hit eighty percent? Can we shred this guy further? using combat protocol unfortunately we can't shred it further not yet but it is nicely stunned which is exactly what we wanted let's maximize our chances of hitting it it really can't shoot back at this point would have uh, been able to shred it, it would have been dead by now. But this should be a kill. By the numbers. Status confirmed. 
Oh, EMP grenade. I love you. So good. Stunted. Killed it. Just like the sectopod. Gatekeeper and sectopod. You gotta uh, work through those guys. Okay. So. We got a promotion. Sane here takes that eye. And he's finally a sergeant. Good job, buddy. Was about time. Superior laser sight, hair trigger, and... Well, that's not too bad, but uh, the more important part is... Wait, 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 wait. Two Alarium cores? Ooh, that is fantastic. The more important part is Alarium crystals here and some supplies. Fantastic. Good, let's do some bond training. And we had a war suit. So that's available. We already have an improved experimental weapon there. We could use some more ammunition for tailing rounds. It would be a bit of a gamble. Okay, let's let's think that through. I mean, we do have two cores. That's more than I was hoping for. Could go for a spark. Probably too late in the game. We can still use Secundos. Uh, he will most likely not use, uh, reach maximum level until the end of the campaign. We have maybe six, seven more missions. So spark is off the table. Um, we could use tail and rounds. That's a good one. Could we really use a good grenade? Potentially not. We definitely could use one or two more armors um, and we could use more heavy experimental weapons specifically since we just built a suit matter of fact those suits are pretty dope i like them so for our prime team we can't use another war suit so we're good let's gamble for tail and rounds tail and rounds ah, venom rounds are we gambling again it's our last core come on tail and rounds Ten rounds. What did we get? What did we get? All right, quick feet here. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. What did we get? It just did not add anything. Well, that's somewhat disappointing, to be honest. We do have Venom rounds now. Okay, cool. Uh, but I was expecting a second pair of, uh, of rounds. Hmm. Potentially the, the display bug again. Sometimes there is a display. Let me save and reload and see what we've got, okay? Okay, so freshly reloaded. Let's take a look. Can't take anything here. Yes! Ooh, very good. Very good. Gamma paid off. Fantastic. Very nice. Okay, so how are we going to play that? Um, he would potentially wear a war suit for that extra armor, right? Yeah, that's plus one armor and we would get a experimental heavy weapon. I almost like the Hasmus vest. The question is... Is it better to be immune to fire acid poison and have three more health? Uh, I might go with that and tail and rounds, to be honest, because he really needs that extra damage and the extra crit. Uh, but I also like his immunity to all of the environmental effects in terms of 
other options. Um, Icarus armor for wards, so that is okay. Frodo already has a heavy armor. Um, we'll definitely leave the spider suit here. And the skirmisher, I think, can't wear war suits. No, can't. But he would be a prime target for a war suit. A good one. But not, that's fine. Overall, that is okay. It will offer Zirkim here. A nice little war suit. Plus Hellweave West uh, looks like a decent setup for him. Plus we do have a rocket, an additional rocket launcher. Not the worst. So yeah, if I change my mind later down uh, the line, then fine. But I think overall that we're better off uh, with uh, the Hesmes vest instead of that extra explosive. Avenger plotting new course. Good, and in terms of Valerium and Alois, do we even need to build something else that would require it? I'm still put off a bit um, by the amount of cores that we had all of a sudden. So I think we're fine here. I'll keep the supplies in case we need to build anything. That's good. In terms of Guerrilla Tactic School, we have upgraded everything, so that's good. Training Center don't need anything, so no, I think we're fine. We're actually fine. Soon we should uh, go and do the actual Golden Path missions. Commander. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. Yes, Commander. Wall of Weapon, yes please. That should be the next ideal target. Um, everybody's tired, so let's give it five or six days until they are back. And then we can uh, do both of uh, the Golden Path missions in a row. Superior laser sight is nice. Heavy weapon, that Avengers is good. That's essentially a free Alarium core. And we're looking for heavy weapons, so that's not bad. Still hoping for that flamethrower. Got a skull jack, and with the skull jack, we're soon going to have that experimental heavy weapon as well. People was taken captive during the most recent operation. Well, Hats has We're just been captured. To them to ensure their Sorry to hear that. We continue to progress in our campaign against the elders, and now Good, let's take a look. Um, result, contact is made immediately. That's a good order. We don't need it right now. Breakthrough research. Improved beam weapons. That is exactly what we're looking for. Oh, this is fantastic. Gather supplies, engineer. Aim is always nice. Superior PCS isn't bad either, but by far the best so far is the improved beam weapons and then potentially that immediate uh, mm, region connection with plus one health. Let's make sure those two will do it so that it only takes five days and no risks are available. Improved beam weapons are fine. That means plus one extra damage and we do have the breakthrough for every single weapon individually. How's the Warlock even speaking? We... <laughs> you already killed him like a while ago. Now maybe a recorded message. Okay, we still need a few days until these guys here are back. Let's say after the bond training is a good moment in time. Another 
another important step forward. Fantastic. Warlock weapon. The disruptor rifle is available. We're getting some extra intel. Priority. And yeah, Frodo is now in a covert ops mission, but he would be the re uh, receiving soldier for that weapon. When inspired, our team is actually Fantastic. 130 Commander. intel. That's great. Oh, that's... That's a good breakthrough as well, because it will give us one hit point on the war suits. Good, and just looking at everybody, they are back, which means we're now ready for a couple of missions. I think we're going to start in reverse order this time. We're going to go to the coordinates of the codex first and we need to use a school check on the codex so that we can definitely do in this mission that'll spawn the avatar um, the avatar we hopefully can kill that guy and eventually um, eventually research the avatar as well in terms of soldier bond there's even more available Oh, that would be Sirkim and Sukugur. Hmm. What can we do without them? We have Hunk and... Yeah, why not? I suppose we can. Jarangs could uh, join us as well. So maybe we make it more of a C-team run. I have uh, gladly ignored the bond training for a while, but now that they can upgrade their bonds, there's no need to not, uh, no reason to not do that. We can still do the uh, missions with a C team, and that's what's going to happen the next time. We might use uh, the D team actually, and go through the black uh, side uh, mission, and then use whatever is uh, left over from the C team to go through the gatekeeper coordinates should be two interesting missions and if everything goes according to plan we got um, two more research projects for the shadow chamber that will eventually get us to the suit and uh, get us to Waterworld very very soon uh, we still need to fight the archon king uh, so the Icarus suit is the last item that's missing and I think other than that, we're pretty much uh, set. At the end of this month, we're going to get that extra resistance order mentally awake or whatever it's called that will reduce um, all of the negative status effects to one round. So that is super helpful for shake and hunker down panic and so on. And we now really got most of uh, the items uh, that we wanted. So it looks good it looks good to go for that extra victory lap so a few nice uh, mm, golden path missions are coming in then hopefully a fight against the archon king and then it's time to wrap up this campaign which is going great so far thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the choose lose run uh, leave a comment and a like down below i appreciate uh, mm, interacting with you guys and see you in two days bye bye